100% compostable. Do you know what that means? It means it's fully, can be fully broken down in a landfill. Not landfill, but it's fully, fully recyclable. Hey guys, so we're here at Changi Airport because we are now on our way to Jakarta for race 9 of this Formula E season. And you might be thinking, Formula E, you know, isn't that just like F1 but electric? And why should you care? Well, there are a couple of reasons why you should care and we'll get into a few of them later. But I think perhaps the most important reason is the fact that there are a number of car manufacturers that are involved in Formula E, including Porsche. And so obviously these brands care and this will have implications for us as drivers and car owners further down the road. But first, let's go to Jakarta. And I am now here in Jakarta and I'm here on the racetrack where the first ever Jakarta e Prix is taking place here in Angkor Beach City. So something slightly different for Jakarta is the fact that this track is a purpose-built track specifically for this e Prix, and this is a departure from the street circuits in the city centres that you typically see for Formula E. So obviously I think this is a dedication and belief that not just that Formula E is here to stay, but it will be an integral part of motorsports moving forward. So why is Formula E important and why should it matter to you? Well, there are three areas to consider. The first is sustainability. So obviously Formula E as a whole has been designed and built from the ground up as a carbon net zero event. So on top of this being an all electric race, obviously, everything that you see here is as much as possible powered by renewable and sustainable energy and where that is not possible and there are you know, unavoidable emissions, they are measured, they are reduced, and they are offset. Formula E, understandably, is a great test bed for EV technology. So, you know, things like your ECU, your battery technology, software, stuff like that. I think we can expect Formula E not just to facilitate, but perhaps accelerate the development of EV technologies that will be relevant to our road cars as well. So that's why a brand like Porsche, which has a long-standing motorsport tradition, is involved in Formula E as well. So effectively, Porsche is now involved in every motorsport event there is. And specifically for a brand like Porsche, where motorsport is a big part of its DNA, and that translates to its road cars as well, right? So motorsport actually serves as a way to stress test its engineering solutions in the most extreme settings. The last area, of course, is the Formula E fan experience. So a big part of why Formula E is located in city centres is that they want to make it more accessible to fans, right? Not just motorsport fans, racing fans, but anyone looking for a fun weekend out. So obviously there are a ton of fringe activities, things like you have booths, we have tons of booths here, we have concerts. There's a lot of stuff going on and it's all about making it as interactive as possible. And we also got a chance to ride shotgun in the Taycan safety car. Ready? Yep. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's okay on the back? Yeah. Yes. I don't envy them. <laughs> and the racing is a little bit different as well. So, you know, it's, you could call it a little bit gamified. You have things like attack mode and as fans, you can get directly involved as well with fan boost. But I must say that overall, the racing is actually quite competitive because the cars are pretty much on a level playing field, you get very, very competitive driving and very competitive racing. And it's definitely not the procession that you typically find in Formula 1. So as you can see, we're now on the grid because the cars are all formed up and they're about to race off in about 20 minutes. So I'm done with all my videoing for the day. It's time for me to go watch this race get started.
تقبل في شغل So that's our time here in Jakarta done at the end of the Formula E race. So a big thanks to Porsche for inviting us over and you know let's hope that we'll get to see Formula E in Singapore someday. So that's all I have. Please like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on TikTok as well. We are at SG Karman. So that's my time in Jakarta. I'll see you back home soon. Bye! And but I'm not a candy man. Candy man. Two fifty car driver of Formula E. Great. Please go as quickly as you can. It's the many hots.